This is the first video of three videos. We will cover the bond basics using the straight line method. Um, under scenario one, which is case one, scenario two, case two, and scenario three, case three option. So what we're gonna do is focus on case one first. So I'm gonna hide these columns. And over here we have the formula principal times interest rate, annual interest rate times time in terms of a year. Here's our simple interest. And you'll see here our principal amount is 100,000, which is 100 bonds at $1,000 each. And the life of these bonds is 10 years. And the payments made on these bonds are done twice a year, so they're semi-annual interest payments. Now the date that the bond is issued um, is July 1. So what we need to do is figure out the actual price, the selling price of the bond, um, as it relates to case one. You'll notice here that the face interest, this is the amount of interest we are paying on the principal, and then the market interest rate is 10% as well. So both of the face and our, our uh, market interest rate are the same. Um, we are offering the 10% on the face amount. Market is just the going rate. So for our selling price, because these two interest rates, we're paying the exact same amount that is offered out, offered to um, potential investors out in the market for similar investments, what we're going to do is we're going to actually issue the bond at face. So basically we're taking 100% of the face amount, or also known as PAR, also known as the principal. So 100% of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the principal, of 100,000 and then we're just going to multiply that by 1 because 1 is the same as 100% and just make sure you, you're aware that when they give you a price code they leave off the percentages so that 100 is actually 100% and when we convert 100% to a decimal it's 1 so 100,000 is the selling price now the next piece of information we need to do is the journal entry so since it was issued on July 1 we are going to go ahead and debit, debit cash, right? And then we'll credit bonds payable because that's our liability. So when we issue the bond, we are basically saying we are going to pay our investors back 10 years from today's date. So we're going to receive cash in the amount of 100000 And we're going to create a debt for the face amount that we will pay 10 years from today's date. Now the next entry is our first adjustment for our semi-annual interest payment. Now the actual payment date will be January 1, but assuming we prepare our financial statements based on the calendar year, we're actually going to adjust for this on December 31st so that we can recognize the interest expense for this period. So interest expense will be debited, and since we're not paying it yet, we'll go ahead and credit interest payable. Now how much do we actually debit and credit the interest accounts for? Well, what we'll need to do is take our principal amount, 100000 and multiply it by our annual interest rate, our face rate, which is 10%. And the length of time is 6 over 12, which is half a year. And our simple interest will be 5000 So our interest expense will be 5000 for the first six months. Credit interest payable for the next, well, for the 5000 and then on the date of disbursement, which is one day later, January 1, we will go ahead and debit interest payable for 5000 And we will credit which account? Cash, because we are paying it. And those would be the entries that we will record. And then it's asking for journal entries on um, date of retirement. So when we retire the bonds, 
which will be 10 years from the July 1 date. So we'll go ahead and retire our bonds Let's see, for 10 years. So we're going to debit the bonds payable account for the amount of principal that's in there. That's 100000 And we are going to credit which account? Credit cash because we're paying the money back. Now, don't forget, bonds payable, normal balance is on the credit side, and any decreases to bonds payable will be on the debit side. So this is the entry, and that's for case one, when you issue the bond at face.